they do not serve you this Nigerian wedding special chicken sauce at a Nigerian wedding, wahala good day. You pull your gillet and your shoes and show them the ratchet side of you. Hello everyone, in this video, I'll share how to prepare the yummiest chicken sauce. So you will not go and disgrace me at a Nigerian wedding because you're fighting over food. Knowing that you can prepare chicken sauce in your home will make you remember your home training at that wedding reception. We'll start by hot marinating the chicken. This is for those of us that do not remember to start food prep till it's 10 minutes to dinner time. Just heat up a combo of the onions, chicken flavored seasoning cubes, curry powder, garlic powder, thyme, and white pepper. Stir the combo till everything is well heated up. This releases a rich flavor perfect for the strips of chicken. But if you are an organized person, you got your act together. Slice the chicken breast like so. Put it in a bowl and add all the seasoning you saw me add to the pot earlier. Rub them into the chicken strips, cover and place in the fridge for about one hour before use. Now let's rewind to even before I started cooking, when the ingredients met to discuss what they will bring to the table. You know that ekelol eke. So here is each of the ingredients reiterating its job in this yummy chicken sauce. Any redundant ingredient will be removed from the squad. Have you liked this video yet? Please like uh, because you're not a redundant ingredient now. Or oh, are you? Are you? Thank you. So I have three colors of peppers here. Carrots, garlic powder, white and red onions, salt, white pepper, thyme, curry powder, corn flour or cornstarch, chicken breast and seasoning cubes. Clean the vegetables very well, deseed the ones that need to be deseeded, scrape the ones that need to be scraped and peel the ones that need to be peeled, all that jazz. Then prep them like so. There are different ways to cut the vegetables for the chicken sauce. I cut the carrots into half moons. Today, I'm preparing the sparsely populated version of chicken sauce. So I don't want it looking too busy. It's all about the sauce and less about the vegetables. And before I forget to mention this, I used about half each of the medium sized red, green and yellow bell peppers. I cut the red one into thin strips. Yellow one the same. And the green one I chopped into tiny pieces. This is because I just want the green one to be picking out here and there. Chop the white onions. This one will be used to kickstart the flavor. So they need to be chopped very tiny. If possible, use a blitzer. And the red onions I cut into larger chunks. Then mix the cornstarch or corn flour with water. In the USA, this is called cornstarch, but known as corn flour everywhere else that English is spoken. Please comment below to let me know what it is called where you live. In Spanish, it's called arena de maíz, which is maize flour or corn flour. Everything is ready. Where were we? Hey, we were stirring the white onions and some spices. Like I said earlier, if you are in the same WhatsApp group as those of us that do lastminute.com in everything, hot marinade to the rescue. <laughs> Now 
when everything is heated up add the chicken strips if you marinated it the traditional way just take out the bowl of marinated chicken from the fridge and add the contents to the pot now the two groups of people have met each other at the junction all roads lead to a delicious chicken sauce oh how i wish you can perceive the heavenly aroma in my kitchen right now madre mia Allow it to steam while stirring from time to time till you notice that the chicken strips are pale all over. No pinkish color at all at all. You'll also see some stock seeping out from the chicken, like this. Then pour some water to cover it. When it boils, add the carrots. If you feel like the color is not popping, add some more curry powder at this time. Once it boils, add the peppers and the onions. The cornflour solution. The quantity of this one depends on the consistency you like for the chicken sauce. I like mine light, that way it does not feel like you are eating the rice with akamo or ogi. Add salt to taste, cover and once it heats up again, it's done. I tell you, this sauce cooks in 20 minutes max, yeah. The rice should be done by now as well, molded like so. I am going all out by people. It's not only my eyes that I used to get what I want. Only the inner caucus will understand this eye reference. <laughs> Scoop some chicken sauce on the side. Yummy. You guys should come and eat. Bye bye. See you soon.